Hello, here are my Premier League predictions for this season. In 20th place, I'm going for Norwich, newly promoted club who have a history of being a yo-yo club up and down from the Premier League to the Championship. In 19th place, Brighton, they had a extremely poor end to the season last season and were lucky to survive. In 18th place, I'm going for Crystal Palace, yet to sign players, did get off to a dreadful start last season. 17th place, I'm going for Sheffield United, another newly promoted club, just the 5 million invested so far, and their last Premier League appearance for them was back in 2007. In 16th place, I'm going for Southampton, well established club in the Premier League since 2012, but I see no improvement on last year's finish. 15th place, I'm going for Bournemouth, got the legend Eddie Howell who got them up to the top flight from League 2. Unfortunately, Bournemouth have hit their peak already. And 14th, I'm going for Burnley to be a slight improvement with no European football for Burnley now that they had for a tiny bit last season. 13th place, West Ham to be in a mid-table scrape and to be on the one end of it. And 12th place, Watford, got a horrendous record against the top six last season, just about losing all of their games, but against the lower weighted table sides, they do quite well, so resulting in about a mid-table finish. 11th place, Newcastle, to have a slight bump with the prospects of a future takeover Will want improvement to get that opportunity. 10th place, Everton, always a top half team without breaking into the top six. Stable club without going crazy. 9th place, going for Leicester, have gone big with spending 70 million, but won't find another miracle like back in 2016 when they won the competition. And 8th place, I'm going for Manchester United. I see Manchester United having an absolutely dreadful season. They finished the season off in sixth place on a five game winless streak, currently seven of nine winless, and a game against Chelsea to start the season. Seventh place, Aston Villa, surprise package Aston Villa, for Motor Club, I see them doing a well, so they spent big 70 million. Plus, they have a lot of history in the Premier League, so I expect them to be here for quite a while. Sixth place, I'm going for Arsenal, the team that doesn't spend much money and is awful away from home. Fifth place, Wolves, incredible last season. They brought in a number of players to help out for the European League competition. I think they will be learning from last year's season from their struggles against the bottom tier clubs combined with all their successes against the top six, resulting in a stunning finish. And fourth place, I'm going for Tottenham. Our good team got a great player of Harry Kane. However, it seems near the end of the season that worked better without him. And third place, Manchester City. Currently got a transfer ban and... They will be more so after the Champions League than the Premier League that they already won twice in a row now. Second place, Liverpool. Just the one loss last season. Very unlucky not to win the title and also managed to pick up a trophy of the Champions League last season. Stunning stuff for them. Expect another high position finish. And first place, I'm going for my team, Chelsea. Best player, Eden Hazard, is gone, but... Got Matteo Kovic back from Real Madrid and a good opportunity for the young players to step up and be counted with legend Frank Lampard in charge. So come on Chelsea, I believe in you, to you. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see other league predictions, subscribe and comment below on who you think will win the Premier League.